when I walk into a mosque, I want to feel free of anything that is behind me. I want to enter into a world where I switch off and I just, you know, experience tranquility. These are the feelings that I would want to have. And to me, as an architect, that means everything around me needs to be somehow in a state of control. What does it mean to build a religious institute in the 21st century? It needs to fit in, but it also needs to take into account its own identity. Uh, it needs to portray the identity of the mosque. But at the same time, taking into consideration the context. But it definitely should be a statement. Uh, sometimes you can fit in and then make a statement. Everything starts with a conversation, right? The first thing is to really understand who the client is, what is it that they want out of this um, religious environment or, or new headquarters, what is the brief, why are they building uh, or are they commissioning a new project like that. The process of consultation is very important uh, and the process of consultation needs to take into account everybody, um, the young, the youth, um, the middle-aged and the elders, men and women. The end users, at the end of the day, they want you know, a space to gather, they also want a functional space to move in, they want gathering space that serve not just the need for now, but also the need for later. Space is simply a conductor of movement between people, between different communities, between men and women. Mecca presents the epitome of spatial arrangements of a mosque or a masjid. The intention of the space of worship is as much important as the space itself. Because it's a masjid, because it's a mosque, because it has a very important and everlasting impact on us as end users, we have the responsibility of thinking about sustainability and thinking about what materials are we going to use, what is the impact of those materials on the space itself, especially in the uh, in the times where climate change uh, is, is very important. Um, using, you know, materials like concrete and brick and mortar and all that is okay and is fine, but it shouldn't be the main materials that you use at, in the 21st century because if you're, you know, bringing materials all the way from Africa or China and the CO2 emission of all that is, you know, going to impact your rating, for example. These are technical issues, but they are important. I think light is one of the most important aspects of any building that you want to approach, especially in a religious environment. So natural light and how you get it into the space is very important. It adds this spiritual dimension to the space. It humbles you down. It reminds you of the basic elements of life. What would make me happy is seeing the young generation attend more you know, these places of religious activities or mosques or masjids. I would be very happy if more space is given to women, for example, equal space uh, to women in these uh, environments. And youth, women, tolerance, non-Muslims coming into these spaces and understanding what happens in there. The architecture is, you know, it's beautiful and all that, but but it didn't, at the end of the day, my legacy would be in having provided a space or an environment or a platform for all of these activities to happen and have been part of a big team to deliver an important, beautiful, once-in-a-lifetime project.